Okay, so uh, another not so quick tutorial, and we'll be learning how to make this. So the new iPod fourth gen, uh, just been re released by Apple, or well, not just so, but been released by Apple. And okay, let's. Uh, okay, so you're gonna start a new document with the these dimensions. So uh, pixels, five hundred by nine fifty. Hit OK, and you should get this. Now you're going to grab the rounded rectangle tool, set your radius to two pixels, and draw a shape similar to this. Now you're going to press Control A, go to the Move tool, and then hit this button and this button to make it exactly in the center. Okay, so. Um, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it look a bit more 3D by adding a gradient overlay. We're going to do this by double clicking on the um, on shape one, um, clicking on gradient overlay, going into it and putting in these values. Uh, normal 100, don't tick reverse, alignment layer, scale, and set this to zero. And the most important thing, make sure this is set to reflected. Okay, now we're going to double click on this and to put in these controls. So just drag the first point across a little bit. Double click and type in 0692CD. And that's the first color. This is for the blue one, obviously. If you want a different color iPod. Uh, do want to make a different color then you're going to have to uh, work out the colors for yourself because I've only done it for this one so far so 27 FB9 is the next one 9 oh 0 2 0 2 7 FB9 okay right at the end here Gonna set this to 003 E6E. And this one to 004A38. So 004A38. No, I'm not. That obviously is wrong. 83. 83. No, okay. Hit OK. And OK. And OK. Yours will look different to mine. Just a sec while I fix that. OK. So you should have this. OK. So next thing you're going to do, do is we're going to make the top and the bottom look a little bit more rounded. So to do this, we're going to grab the pen tool, um, hold Control, and double click on the top layer. And zoom in to 100%, and you should get these little nodes. You're just going to take this pen tool, click roughly in the middle, then hit the up arrow four times. There we go, and on the bottom side, do it again. That just makes it look a little bit more rounded. Oh, not 25, and just a little bit better. So, hit that, hit that. And control D to deselect. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, create the hold switch. So we're gonna uh, go to the rectangle tool, uh, make sure we don't have any style on, and just draw a tiny little box and drag that below that layer double click on that and go to gradient overlay and this is what you're going to put in you're going to set the blend mode to normal opacity to 100 tick reverse go gradient reflected again align with layer and this to zero uh, scale 100 and uh, the 
see if I just want to put in R. Six five six C seventy one okay and and um E one 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 Okay Let me just hit okay Now we're gonna do uh, uh, put the screen on so we're gonna go back to our rounded rectangle set the the thing, the radius, to nine pixels. Zoom in to a hundred percent zoom. Okay, so just draw on the screen like this. I have a silver thing so on. I'll take that off in a minute. That might have happened on yours as well. If it has, just wait a sec. And it should be about whoa whoops. It should be about uh that height off the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um now we're gonna apply a few styles, so double click on effects. Apply double click on effects. No uh inner shadow. Uh, and the opacity set to 22. 22. Uh, blend mode normal. Ah, oh, whoops. That's set to 100. Uh, uh, so inner shadow, set this to white. Blend mode normal. The opacity 72. I mean 22. Not 72, that might die. Uh, Use global light and set that to zero. Uh, set this distance to 12, uh, choke to zero, and size to 10. That to that's fine. Inner glow, turn that on. And the inner glow settings are this to white here. Uh, no, okay. This to normal, I mean overlay. So the blend mode to overlay, opacity 75, noise to zero, technique softer, edge, set this to one, one, and that's it. You're going to turn satin on, uh, satin, um, normal, 100, zero, 100, and 68 here, 168, and this to 125, and turn invert off. So you should get that. Um, oh, yes, it's to zero. You should get that. That's a change. Oh, zero, not one. No, zero. Did you get that? Yep, um, gradient overlay. <coughs> um, wants to be set to normal, 100%, uh, not reversed. Align with layer, uh, linear, angle zero, that 100. And the gradient you can use is pure black here. It's going to be pure black on this one. Oh. Pure black and 5B, 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 5B. 5B, 5B, B, 5B. No. B, 5B, 5B. Okay. And then we're going to quickly add a stroke as our last thing. Um, and size and your stroke wants to be 1. The opacity 100 outside, normal color and black. Okay, so that's fine now. Get rid of that. Should have that. 